So the McDonald Bridge was opened in 1955 as a two-lane bridge. It's, it's basically a commuter bridge. The, it links uh, Dartmouth with downtown Halifax. Um, it's pretty vital. It was the first bridge across the harbour and, and it's a wonderful harbour but it's a long way around. And it was concluded that the deck was finally at the end of its functional life so there was a, a desire for the by the owner to have the deck replaced while keeping traffic chronic, which was the, the interesting part of the, the, the challenge. When it came to the replacing the deck, there were a number of options. You can just do the roadway itself, leaving the rest of the structure in place, or there sort of degrees until you replace the whole thing. The bridge deck will be, be replaced in 46 different pieces, starting at the Dartmouth end of the bridge and working towards Halifax. Each night, the, the bridge must close at 7 p.m. and it must open at 5.30 a.m. and be ready for commuter traffic to, tr to flow first thing in the morning. Okay, well in principle it sounds very easy. You take a chunk of deck out, lower it down to the water, bring a new chunk of deck or structure in, lift it up and connect it. The problem is that as soon as you make your first cut, the bridge starts behaving in a totally different way to the way that it had since it was open. The big three pieces of equipment that Buckland and Taylor designed were the temporary deck connection, which joins the old deck to the new deck to allow traffic to run during the day. The typical erection gantry, which is the project specific piece that lifts and lowers pieces from the ocean up to the uh, bridge deck. And the turntable erection gantry, which is a, a modified version of the typical gantry, which is used on the Halifax side span with shorter deck segments. So the Installation of deck segments each evening will require a significant amount of engineering having been done ahead of time and be, require engineering support the night of the lift. The, the purpose of the engineer during construction, I think, is to make it as easy as possible for the contractor to meet the contract requirements. Yes, the more we can work with the contractor, the happier we get. And it works both ways because uh, we learn from the contractor a lot about what the latest methods are.